Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Cowboy Bebop episode number 5 and 6. Uh, in the previous episode we got a new crewmate that is um, Faye Valentine and she seems like uh, what can I say um, a very like cool type of character and uh, I thought like uh, she was probably like going to be a recurring character like a character who like uh, people meet uh, like now and then that type of character like uh, they like uh, I, I thought that she would probably be like some type of a thief and she would be like uh, coming in and out uh, and uh, stuff like that like she will not officially join the team but she will appear most like uh, most often but uh, I'm guessing like she's joining the team uh, as far as the last episode went and uh, like I'm uh, happy for that fact because like uh, I really wanted to see more of her and one more uh, like uh, person is left who will get into the team uh, we'll probably get to see uh, that character in this or in the next episode so I'm I'm guessing so yeah let's uh, like uh, I'm looking forward to it so yeah guys without further ado let's get started with episode number five of Kaba Bebop Okay, so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. So here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, let's jam. <laughs> Damn. Okay. I'm really like like I'm still getting surprised as to like uh like what can I say the quality of this anime even though it was like it is so old and um, like I think it uh, like it's in 1998 it has been made in 1998 uh, which is uh, almost 22 years so like like just think about it 22 years and still like the animation and everything is so good so yeah, like this really has like an old feel to it. Yep. Nineteen ninety eight, yes. Wait, what is oh Who is this guy? Okay. Red Dragon. <laughs> okay. Hmm, yada yada indeed. Oh my god, what? What the hell? Some kind of assassin? Oh, I was not expecting that. Syndicate. Ooh. If only Spike returned. Oh, so... Wait a minute, so was the spike like some kind of uh, like, I don't know, it's some like uh, related to some organization? I 
don't feel like doing this. Yeah, he has some kind of like relationship with that guy. Mm. Mm, yeah, like he's asking him something that he can't. What's, what was she doing? Shopping or what? <laughs> yeah. And he's off. Wow. <laughs> mm, okay. So like this guy had a bounty on him and he got like assassinated. Ace spades, spades of S. Ah, oh, Ace of Spades. Whoa, what the? Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. That is easy. <laughs> oh. Mom? Okay, so they're like doing... So like uh, Faye Valentine is trying to like get the bounty herself or something? Wait a minute like oh no Okay this is Wait a minute. <laughs> oh no, they're, they're running. Well, <laughs> he 
he nabbed it just like that <laughs> wait she knows him any coming back to life okay okay yeah he knew like that guy that means Anastasia Oh I need Anastasia Oh so I think is this guy like a dummy Because he's dead isn't he Oh my god they know his her name as well Oh boy so this was like a bait or something It is a body double isn't it Oh boy here we go yes <laughs> it's the dead body itself okay vicious okay so what like was this some kind of a trap laid by them to like uh, bring in a spike uh, but uh, like um, uh fake valentine came in instead i'm guessing it's like in something like that yeah they know him as well okay Okay, so they thought that he was dead. Hmm. Damn. Guns in refrigerators. Yeah, because Okay. So spirited and running ahead. Duties of the life I live. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> well,
<laughs> yeah, he has his own business. Waiting in a cathedral. This is a cathedral, isn't it? Yeah. Whoa. Okay, so yeah, I was correct. Like they were trying to bait uh, Spike, but instead, uh, Faye Valentine came. So taking her as a hostage. Okay. Kill those oh, oh. Mm, it's uh, yeah, Faye Valentine. <laughs> well. Damn. <laughs> Damn the jiggle physics. <laughs> wow, shotguns, uh, SMGs, everything in there. Okay. Oh no. Got shot. Damn. <laughs> okay. Where is Vicious? Like he was. Oh no, here, there he is. Oh boy, uh, close combat against a gun is pretty bad. Oh no. Uh. Simple transition. Oh, the brothers or something? Oh. Okay, it's just a metaphor. Oh, oh damn. Uh, not the vital points. Uh, oh, boy. This is bad. Oh, oh no. The grenade. Oh, 
Yeah, they fought together, so... Okay, I think like some kind of backstory. I'm guessing that is the end of Vicious. Okay, so, um, Okay, so there is something like Oh no! <laughs> okay, that was... <laughs> so, one thing. We did not see Vicious, uh, like, uh, what happened to Vicious. It was not shown. So he might be like alive, uh, like we saw the explosion, but that's the only thing that we saw. So like this is one thing that I always like, uh, what can I say, keep in mind that it's unless and until in an anime or, any, or in any kind of like show or anything, we get to see the body, dead body or like it is like said that yeah, this guy is dead and uh, like there's some kind of proof, unless and until that happens. You should not like like think that yeah he's dead probably because he might not be and usually it is not that case so i don't know um like like this guy vicious he seemed like quite uh what can i say Im a quite an important character to be killed off so quickly and uh, i don't know like these are just my guesses and i'm guessing like he somehow escaped or something and he would probably like come back later on and like he has some kind of what can i say uh relationship with um uh spike and we saw like him fighting with uh spike alongside spike so yeah he is i think is he is a pretty like important character to be killed off so quickly and so easily so i don't know my guess is he's probably like he somehow escaped and he'll probably come back okay so this was episode number five and uh, here we get to see a little bit of uh, spike's backstory and like the way it was showed uh, nothing much was revealed the only the, oh, the only fact that was revealed was um that uh, he and um uh, vicious were probably like comrades and they fought alongside each other and they, i think they were like probably good friends 
and uh, uh, like this guy like this uh, Mao the one who was killed and um, uh, who was the other one the, uh, and the, the the lady uh, Anna, Anastasia or Anna something she was called yeah Anastasia she Mao and the other guy that was in the picture were like uh, friends or something and somehow uh, uh, Spike was also involved with them and Vicious was also involved with them and Vicious I think like uh, bet betrayed him and like had him killed and uh, like Mao said uh, something like uh, if Spike was alive this wouldn't have happened or something I think like they were in, in the like wrong conception like we saw Anastasia also said that uh, you are alive he was, she was like surprised so I'm guessing they were under the wrong impression somehow like they thought that Spike was dead which was not the case <coughs> and I think somehow Vicious knew that and he like uh, I, I don't know these are all my guesses like he killed uh, Mao for something for like uh, he, when asked like why did you kill him uh, no uh, when he like uh, Spike said that you were like betrayed the person who helped you uh, he said that he had his fang has his fangs had uh, has become useless so he is not needed uh, so are so is yours and try to kill spike so I'm guessing like he tried to like kill him and also like kind of lure spike in because obviously spike would uh, like go and take revenge or like vengeance for that and uh, like using that he lured tried to lure spike in but like Faye Valentine got, went there in his state and so like he also like took that as an op opportunity to uh, Faye Valentine as a hostage and lured Spike so yeah and somehow like uh, Spike after like after that uh, battle with uh, Vicious he like he fell down from a big like from a like a higher place so <laughs> uh, yeah like <laughs> obviously like his whole body has been injured and he's like like his full body is bandaged and all and I'm guessing like jet came in and saved him somehow so yeah so an another thing here is like um, uh, another thing that we saw in that little sn snippet of that backstory thing that was been shown was like we saw like people getting killed and uh, we saw a lady like we saw the lady uh, like multiple times and like she was like singing when uh, uh, Spike was injured and everything and uh, Like there was some also something like some kind of like roses uh, There were like a lot of roses being shown and like someone was like tearing the petals and like throwing it out or uh, stuff like that there's like a lot of things that was shown in this and which were extremely what can I say um, incoherent well, like you could not understand what was happening unless and until you get the whole thing and also like we kind of saw I think we saw that lady uh, who was like who took who was taking care of Spike uh, in like uh, a suit and like I don't know like was she also like one of uh, Spike's comrades or something like she was like wearing black suit and like I think she had a gun in her hand as well so he, she was like also somehow related to like all of these things like all of these uh, like combat and all all of these fightings and like we saw some people like getting killed and we also like saw uh, like Spike fiddling with uh, like remote control I think and him like smiling and everything so yeah I'm guessing like like he w was somehow like uh, involved in like an explosion just like this uh, obviously otherwise like why was he like fiddling with that remote control and smiling like that so I think like he was also like involved in this type of explosion before and was somehow saved by this lady I don't know this is just all my guesses and we also see that lady coming in from outside wearing an apron and we then see like Spike uh, collapsing and then we like get to see her like singing a song 
and uh, Spike saying that uh, keep singing it and also like uh, like the same way we also see like Faye Valentine also singing I think that the same song and uh, obviously like Spike told her that you're toned <laughs> that was fun okay so yeah that was episode number five of Kawaii Weepup we got a little bit of backstory uh, with like without properly explaining anything and I'm guessing they'll reveal it gradually so yeah guys so that was episode number five so we'll be starting with episode number six uh, just now so yeah without further ado let's get started with episode number six of Kawaii Weepup okay uh, similarly, I'll be putting the subtitles on the timer, sync it to whichever is a preference, and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go! Excuse me. Oh, we also like got a little bit from like Jet's like story. Like he said something about him like being uh, too overconfident and like trying to do something which resulted in him losing his hand. So we'll probably get his story later on as well. Alright, so this is episode number 6. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Wait a minute. Eyeball. What is this? Oh, okay. So, okay, so he was like having a dream. Damn. Sympathy for the devil. <laughs> Only a canned. <laughs> this dog. I. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> She <laughs> really like women. Are okay, so all right. <laughs> like she messes with the dog too much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> Giraffe. Giraffe. 
There's fatso in the way. Oh. Fatty. Oh, he knows him. What? They know each other. Oh, so he's a fellow bounty hunter. Okay, okay. I thought he was like a bodyguard. Okay. Oh no, this guy. <laughs> he's like distracting him. <laughs> okay. Like he did not think like he like he never thought that Jet probably has a comrade who's going to do the job for him. Oh. The kid who was playing. Okay. My god, like he's telling someone and Spike is telling him on. <laughs> okay. Man, he's sweating and everything. Okay. Oh. Give him back. Zebra. Oh. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh boy. Is dead? Oh no. Don't be fooled by his parent. Uh, I think it's too late for him. Uh. Yeah, it's dead. Wait, what? Oh no, is he like... What a hefty sum. <laughs> what is that? Some kind of receipt? <laughs> 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 ah, I knew it. <laughs> yeah, the Damn, the sound is quite slow. When's father, his old acquaintance, Zebra? So defense squad.
Hmm. Reclaim a certain facility. Okay. Men live for duty. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, definitely suspicious. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, yeah, like obviously like sh he is Okay, so wait, what? Oh, boy, what? Oh no, he got shot again. <clears throat> what? One thing I'm suspicious about, Zebra has not talked at all. Like, did he? No, I don't think he did. Or I might be mistaken, I don't know, I can't. What the? Hmm. What is happening? Oh, okay. Well, um, what is happening now? Central explosion of the hyperspace gate. Oh, oh, okay. Cease to age. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Oh, he's uh, he's talking now. Okay. Oh no, he's not talking. I think this was the third guy. Hmm. Well, one thing I like, I can say like, there's a big disadvantage he has. Like he does not age. His body is still young and does not have the strength. So like, if they get like in a close combat situation, like hand to hand combat or something like that, Spike would easily overpower him. Oh, damn. Yep, I knew it. Like. This was just like he was using it as a cover. Oh, okay, he got shot. What the hell? Wait, what? <laughs> wait, wait, he's alive? Yeah. Wait. Is this guy so, oh, so, okay, so, the boy was not, like, he was asking the boy to return him, isn't it? Or am, am I mistaken? Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, one shot. Okay.
Okay, so well, that's one way. <laughs> oh, is it like going to like blow the whole thing up? Damn! Ooh, okay. I think he probably like jumped out or something before the car exploded. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he has only one shot. Okay. Wait, why did he not dodge? Or try to dodge at least. Okay, he was not expecting that. Well, time to yeah, become an old guy. Oh, that's it. So he was probably thinking like I can't be dead. Like uh, I won't die whatever happens so he, he like acted cocky and all and that was his downfall Okay, it's dead. Bang. Oh, he did say bang. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that was okay, like um, I thought uh, like uh, like I was a bit what can I say when they like showed uh, giraffe uh, going to the, uh, the two of them and like saying that give him back, and I was thinking like he was referring to a little boy, but it turns out that. Like he was referring to the guy, wasn't he? Like the the person, like seeing it like that. Like uh, I think like uh, Spike also kind of made that mistake where he like uh, like mis uh, mistaken. Uh, after it ends, I'm going to like check that portion out again. Like he went there and told the uh, thought that the guy has like kidnapped the boy, little boy. So he went there and like. Uh, in gunpoint he said that give him back give the boy little boy back but like the thing that was happening was actually the reverse like i think the the, the like the boy uh he like as he said that i like just like i made him like this because i wanted him to act as a like parent and that would probably like uh, ease a lot of things obviously because you need a guardian in like most of the things uh, when you're like underage so he like that was just like his uh, way to get out of situations and yeah let me just check one thing um, uh, where it is where is it 
like when Spike goes there and wait a second yeah like he goes there and like I'm just trying to check the name like who was called Zebra like that guy or the uh, little boy okay let's see um, Jeff asked me to help you yeah he like Spike mistook him and like I also mistook uh, uh, what can I say I also mistook like the thing that uh, Spike did and like he says that but zebra shot giraffe yeah and so like zebra uh, like that guy just a sec yeah so yeah that is the thing like um, so here's the thing like I was thinking that when like giraffe went and like said to uh, give him back give the boy back and like I, I was like everyone I, I think like everyone who like was seeing the show for the first time was under the impression that zebra was that guy and he has somehow like uh, kidnapped uh, the boy and was like like uh, doing something and uh, like uh, taking him as a hostage or something and then like they sh like so I was confused as to like uh, the thing that F Faye Valentine says that then why did giraffe tell him to help the kid like the kid was going along with zebra that means like he was like just standing there and when zebra shot him uh, he fell down so uh, like so the question also came into my mind like why did giraffe say to help the kid Giraffe was not telling uh, Spike to help the kid. Giraffe was actually asking Spike to help the like guy. So like so he like pointed the gun towards the kid. So the the situation was like what can I say? It was a bit deceptive to the people who were seeing it for the first time. Like usually when you see uh, like a grown up guy and a little kid, uh, and if you were like told to. Uh, suspect one of them and like if you were said like here's a guy and here's a little boy uh, now tell us like who is the kidnapper and who is the one who was kidnapped obviously like everyone would say that the grown-up man was the kidnapper and the little kid was the one who was being kidnapped so this was like a deception a deceptive thing that like was like thrown in front of us and we uh, also like so we did not think like uh, we, like we also like thought that yeah the grown-up guy must be the one who was like uh, kidnapped the uh, little kid and giraffe asked spike to help the kid so uh, but that was not the case actually it was like the reverse so like spike also did not expect that and like that was the reason why like he got shot in his hand and uh, yeah so yeah that was like a really like well done and like really like intelligent of them to do like this was something like which uh like played with our like initial impressions and like <laughs> this is also like uh, an example of do not judge a book by a cover but obviously like people will always like to judge books by the cover because uh like people judge things looking at its appearance every time because obviously if you like see something new and if the thing that you see is uh, if the new thing that you see is something which is like extremely clean proper and uh, like extremely beautiful to look at you'll obviously like have a good impression of it and like people after getting to know each other they get to know the inside of a heart uh, like the heart of a person but unless and until like you get to know the person you'll always like judge a person by its cover like that is something that is inevitable and this is also like like this is like an extreme example of judge, do not judge a book of by a cover because i don't think anyone would have like guessed it like the uh, like the little boy was the main culprit behind everything so like no one would have like um, i doubt anyone would have like suspected the boy first usually we would suspect the other guy so yeah this is the same thing that happened like this was really like well done and uh, yeah and obviously like this is a science fiction uh, like uh, anime and like uh, they have been able to like uh, travel through space and everything 
so like it would not like uh, what can I say surprise me if like uh, a thing like uh, trapping like uh, someone not aging and as I said like uh, something happened in that like uh, what was it called I forgot the exact term like something happened uh, in that like m I, I think there was a moon wasn't it like something happened and like the uh, where is it like uh, they gave a little, little explanation as to what happened yeah here it is um, just a sec it started on the day the accidental uh, explosion of the hyperspace gate yeah this hyperspace gate I think the hyperspace gate, gate is that gate through which they travel all the time when like traveling in the spaceships um, yeah uh, so an accident happened there and uh, my body ceased to age yeah I can't die the guys that took interest in me and experimented on me all died before so obviously like that kind of like also triggered people uh, to do experiment on him because this is like a real sample and obviously like <laughs> like there are people like that who like when see something unusual, unusual tries to experiment on it uh, the end of the guy started when he snuck into the lab okay I needed a parent to use as a cover okay so yeah he took him as like a cover yeah yeah and also giraffe said that don't be fooled by his appearance that is also like kind of a hint as to like who the um, like uh, main like culprit is so like Spike then realizes that what Giraffe said. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that was really well done. And uh, like, no one, I I doubt anyone would have like expected how it happened and expected the thing that happened. And uh, so another thing is like. Oh, and the thing with the stone, uh, like Giraffe says, this is a stone that will return time to you. Now it said, hand Zebra over to me. Yes. So Zebra was uh, like, he came there to help Zebra. And I'm guessing like there were some kind of comrades or something. And uh, when he like went missing after trying to like, as he said, get sne sneaking into the lab. After he went missing, uh, Giraffe tr like tried to track him down, and all these things happened. And yeah, okay, so yeah, that was like well done. And then obviously, like uh, he like uh, Spike shot uh, the like uh, the kid with that bullet, and uh, he never thought that he would die. Like previously, also like when Spike shot him in his head. He like ran away from that place and because he thought that yeah he won't be able to die anyways so he like just stood there did not try to like uh, run away from Spike's uh, gun and he like Spike took advantage of that and uh, like turned the tables on him so yeah that was like um, really well done uh, and that was like quite intelligent and yeah so yeah guys that was episode number um, six of Cowboy Bebop so these two episodes were good and uh, like we are probably like uh, get into more of the thing like we get got a little bit of his backstory and i'm guessing like we'll get the other uh, like uh, teammate who we are probably going to get later on in the future uh, episodes and we'll probably get uh, like uh, there is a lot of mystery surrounding uh, spike and like everything that we saw in episode number five so We'll probably get to know those things gradually as well and uh, yeah so that was it that was episode number five and episode number six of cowboy beep up if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and be sure to comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to share about these episodes i'll be sure to check them out and so yeah guys i'll be back with two new episodes of cowboy beep up on next week same time so until then, goodbye and have a nice day.